everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I got a request to show how to fold folded, um, fitted sheets. Now when I grew up, I grew up with only flat sheets, but I'm going to show you how to fold a fitted sheet. Now you must remember, my sheets are old, so the elastic will not be as tight as the elastics on the newer sheets, because I don't have a new sheet. I have to show you with what I have. And so just remember, the elastic's going to be tighter and you're going to have a little more to battle with because of the elastic. So let's show you how I do it. Okay, you're going to want your sheets to look like this. this is, these are two bottom sheets. These are pre-folded, or I mean these are fitted sheets that I folded. This is what they look like when you get them out of the dryer. They look a little, or take them off the clothesline. And what you're going to look for is the longest part. The sheets are, I have a short part, and then I have a long. You want the longest, because it makes it easier. And you want to be with the sheet inside out. So you look for a corner, and you show that it's inside out. See the seam? Then you get the other corner. That with it inside out and you put the two inside outs together. Then you pick up the sheet that's closest to you, the panel that's closest to you, and once again you want to have the right side with you so that you're going to put the right side together. I had to think about it, yes. You know I don't think when I'm doing this, I just do it. But anyways, you put the right sides of that corner in together. Then you get the other corner, which will now be the wrong side showing. And you put the wrong side against the wrong side, and now you've got a right side showing. And then you take these two sides that are hanging and match them up, just like that. Okay, I left it just like I put it on the table. I haven't touched anything. And so you've matched up these two corners. And then you're going to try to, you're just going to take these ends and just straighten them out a little bit. And then you're going to put your hand back in the corner and fold this over so that it makes like this bottom is the part that you want to look pretty. This part here, well, it might look pretty and it might not. You just lay them over and kind of make like a pleating. Then I take the folded edge and bring it up to almost, not all the way. I leave it a little bit so that there's like an inch. And then you take the fat end, fold it over, and then fold it over again. And you've got your sheet folded so that it looks neat. So when you put it in your cupboard, you want to put it in so that you have this side. So when you slide your hand in to get your sheet, you're getting one sheet because you see only one fold. And that's how you do it. So these would go into the cupboard. And you have them all the same direction so that you know if I want just the blue sheet, I could lift it out. I've got the blue one. If I want just the green one, I've got just the green one. And then there's, that's how you do it. I hope that was helpful. It's hard. It's really it's hard. The hard part is the sheets today have the a tighter elastic. Now these sheets are pretty old. They their elastic has, is kind of shot. But you still do it the same way with the newer sheets. It's just a little bit more of a struggle. And once you get them folded, you make sure you just kind of try to make a square square bottom. Don't worry about the top that's messy and when you fold that in the, it will it will look like it's very neat, even though it might not be as neat as you'd like, but you'll get there. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's short, and it's sweet, but it's the end. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.